All right, so Valentine's Day is coming up, and we're joined by Dr. Uh, Patty Ann, who has the toolbox for relationship. Tad Patty Ann Tublin, a relationship expert, right here good in morning. Connecticut. Good morning. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, Sorry. You have some inexpensive ways to celebrate Valentine's Day, so it's not all about how much we're spending to really show you love someone. Of course, because it doesn't. You don't have to spend a lot of money to tell somebody that you care, mm. right? And with Valentine's Day coming, <laughs> it's on the heels. The Christmas bills are still coming in. You know, springtime is coming, so you need to get stuff for the kids for the spring for clothes. So Valentine's Day, you just need to show that you care and that you put some effort into it. You see, I'm not buying, so, I'm not, well, so many women out there, I'm just not buying that. I think if you don't shell out the cash, they're like, what am I worth and you're not doing this for me? Well, let me, I, or the reverse, they feel like, oh, all you did is call some number or your assistant did this. I mean, if you exactly. made something by handmade or you got them a flower that was their favorite instead of the traditional red, I think exactly. that means more. Plenty of people love a yellow rose. And that, that takes time to find a yellow rose, unless, of course, you use 1-800-PRO-FLOWER, but at least you're still looking mm. and thinking about what the person loves. So you don't have to break the bank and buy a dozen roses, which are a fortune today, right, because Valentine's Day is yeah. right around the corner. We'll go to Roses for Autism. They're going to be a guest on our show tomorrow. There you go. They have the most amazing roses, and they're fairly affordable. Anyway, great, great. And yeah, that's helping a good cause. Great. And, and in terms of the cards, like uh, Kara just said, you know, if you go to Hallmark, you can get some great cards, right? right. But if you're a mom like you are, don't you remember those cards that the kids mm -hmm. make when mm -hmm. they're little? Yep. Yes. Those are the best Save cards everyone. ever. Mm -hmm. So if you make a card up for your partner, and it's really personal, and it's an inside joke maybe between the two of you, something special you say to each other or a nickname you call each other, that will go so far, and they won't think, ah, you just didn't spend any money All on right, it. Exactly. They really won't. No, uh -huh. I think that if, you, if you really showed someone you love them, and, and you know, even if you buy the Hallmark because you're nervous about the poem, but then right. you write your own stuff exactly. on the other side. Yeah. Yeah, the person. I think that's really special. All right, so I've been on Christian Mingle for uh, weeks now. <laughs> yeah. What's going on? I'm not attracting the right person. What, am I putting out the wrong pheromone? What's, what am I doing? What, what, what's what's your on? profile say? Um, single, uh, 32. <laughs> Um, likes. I don't know. I don't know. Well, maybe, I don't even know how to make a profile. Because maybe a profile doesn't reflect who you really are. Because you're a great guy, and if <laughs> if that's not resonating, so then who's, now who's gonna put great guy on a re right? I would look that and go, great well. guy. What a conceited tool. I'm out of here. I wasn't uh, suggesting to say no, great guy. I, I was suggesting write great things about yourself that will say, oh, this seems like a great guy. Wow. You know, speaking of, because I know you're kind of kidding, I mean, is online dating still a, a big thing? Are people really finding true love that way? You know, actually, it's more and more the way people are finding Seriously, each other. It Seriously, is. because think about it. When you're in college, if you don't meet somebody in college, once you get into the workplace, say if you're a teacher or the, the work that you do or the work that I do, you, you really see a very limited number of people. Mm -hmm. That's why I married the guy I work with. There you go. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. So yes, I think it's a great way to meet people, but you really have to vet carefully though because somebody might present themselves one way and that's not in fact who they are at all, but you can figure that out after like the first five minutes. And you want to meet in a public place. Absolutely. In a coffee shop or something where there's always around and you always want to make sure that you have a friend who has your phone number calling you halfway through saying how's everything going right. and if it's not oh god I got an emergency I got to run so you have some kind of an excuse out of it you know what I'm saying ladies Absolutely. you got to have an escape yeah. route get out in case Absolutely. it's not going well and go for coffee you don't have to now, what pay if you for show, dinner. The, yeah, what, if the picture isn't what you see when you show up do you just do you admit that do you say hey you didn't you you false this on Peter under false well, what you might say is wow you look a little different than your photo <laughs> yeah <laughs> that was 15 years old that's but, true you know you have a whole program the relationship toolbox if someone's already in a relationship mm -hmm. and they're hitting a rough spot how do they figure out if they should stay or go okay Hard question, but basically, here's the bottom line. If you truly love each other, truly love each other, and you got married for the right reasons, not for the profile, but for the right reasons, you can weather almost any patch, barring abuse. Okay. You, really, you really can. And it comes down to a matter of, do you want to be right in a relationship, or do you want to be together? Yeah. Excellent And advice. keep your sense of humor. We take everything too.